It's great to be back. What, um, you've been through this so many times. What, what are the biggest things you guys need to accomplish here in the next few weeks? Um, executing. Um, starting to get a handle on the playbook. Uh, now it's all about executing. Um, pass come on tomorrow, so another stimulus is added. Uh, so it's finding ways to execute. How much can you gauge Kelvin from uh, as an offensive line without the pass? Mm-hmm. It feels like you can't really get a true sense of doing the The pads are needed because the games are played in pads. You know, we're not playing a game in shorts and, and helmets. It's played in pads. We need the fits. Um, we need the run sales. We need you know the bull rushes. We need all those things uh, that equip us to go and play the game and execute on Sundays. What, what kind of value do you get uh, this offseason without the pads? I know just being around each other, you know, me and KO being able to pick up uh, T's, ETs, being able to, you know, do combination blocks together. Those those things are necessary. But at the end of the day, you still need those pass to be able to understand just how, how to fit it exactly right. How does your relationship with Kelechi progress? How important is that? Yeah. Where are you guys at now? We're having fun together. You know, uh, like I said, we came in in the same draft. We know each other, have known each other for some years now. Great to play next to him. Um, just building. That's all you can do right now is just stack a day on top of a day and, and, and keep getting to know each other, keep asking questions, keep learning about each other. Um, and as that relationship progresses, hopefully our performance will progress as well. When you have a new offensive line coach, or actually two, uh, Frank and Frazier, uh-huh. do they tweak your technique as a veteran at all, or they kind of leave that alone? You know, me and Frank are right now, we're adding tools to the toolbox. So it's things that you know I've never done as a tackle that I'm actually working on right now. Uh, with Frank, and it's more, it's not really changing up how I do things, but actually adding to what, I, you know, how I do things. So adding some more tools to the toolbox. I mean, what's the process going to be like for you guys to line, <laughs> learning way beyond and him learning you and kind of gelling? Just reps. I mean, you, you can't, uh, you can't put any measure on just having reps and just having reps together. So I think that is going to be necessary for us, us all to just understand how to play with each other, how to vibe with each other, the chemistry that's needed for us to succeed. Is blocking for him different than other running backs? We block him, man. Whoever's in front of us, we got to find a way to move him. Simple as that. Um, with any running back, uh, if you provide a hole, you provide a crease, they got to find a way to make it work. So they make us look good. We make them look good. It goes hand in hand. A lot of people were wondering how Le'Veon was coming off the layoff. How does he look to you? Uh, I think you got to ask you know, him about that. You know, uh, I think he looks good. I've seen him play before. I've seen him practice before. Um, he looks good to me. You said that you know your job is to open holes for whatever running back it is. Yeah. But he seems to be a particularly patient runner, like unbelievably patient. Mm-hmm. One of the reasons he's so successful. Does that change a little bit how you block, knowing that the guy isn't going to rush into the hole? Uh, not at all. At, at the end of the day, if you provide a crease and you provide a hole and you move people um, in the fashion that we need to move people, he'll find a way to make a way. He, Bilal will find a way. Trent, Eli, they all find a way to make it happen. Do you find it? Uh, sense of urgency when protecting uh, Sam Darnold? Uh, anytime you have a quarterback throwing the ball, there's a sense of urgency. You know, the thing is, is your job is to, to hold up and to provide time for any quarterback. So it's not, you know, because Sam is back there, there's some increased sense of urgency. At the end of the day, we got to protect the quarterback. How is Le'Veon, obviously you know him from the past, but mm-hmm. how is he off the field, in the meeting rooms, in the classroom? It doesn't seem like the shy type. So is is he the same guy that was in Pittsburgh? I mean, he's, he's a fun-loving guy. He loves football, loves to have fun. Um, like I said, he hasn't changed much. You know, he's the same uh, kid from Michigan State that, that I saw years ago. Um, and now he's grown up and had kids, and, you know, now he's starting to evolve.